Hello, very warm well welcome. It's race week once again, and bring on uh, July because we've got four rounds in July. Um, yeah, literally a race every week. Next up, Austria, the easiest circuit, 10 turns, half of the tracks DRS, and we entail one of them awful sprint races this weekend. The easiest track, full of straights, um, yeah, but we have a dodgy sprint race. Um, yeah, Austria is very basic. Um, you start the lap, a straight, right-hander, straight, right-hander, straight, and then you get into the twisty bits. But yeah, Red Bull's home, the Red Bull ring, and Red Bull will be favourites to win the race. I feel like we say this every time now, but Sergio Perez needs a good weekend just to silence um, the critics. How are Ferrari going to do? Uh, Mercedes have improved. Can we see anything from the Silver Arrows? And then we jump into Aston Martin, who have been very strong. But it's a very short lap, is Austria. I mean, you're just looking over a minute. I mean, I reckon the laps will be one minute three, one minute two. Um, you're just over a minute, so it's a very fast lap round Austria. Basic track. But it does make sense to have a sprint race here because you do not need three practice sessions around Austria. It is the easiest track on the calendar, so there's no use having three hours of practice. Because, um, yeah, it's not really beneficial. So, I suppose doing a sprint round, if I mean, I hate them, but if you're going to do one, it makes sense to do it round here. But, yeah, um, coming into the weekend, it's going to be epic. Now, the teams are under pressure. It's back-to-back -back races. We've got Silverstone coming up. I cannot wait for that. One of my favourite Grand Prix of the year. Yeah. That will be epic. But first up, Austria. We've got... Um, yeah, practice one. Then the sprints. And then the main race. Very fast. Very fast, Austria. I think um, a surprise candidate, and he usually does very well in qualifying round here, is Kevin Magnussen. Watch out for K-Mag this weekend. Because he's got quite a good record round here. In qualifying, I would not be shocked to see Kevin Magnussen in the top 10 for qualifying. Uh, as we've seen it in the past, but Haas quite poor on the race pace. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's race week and here comes the races. Back to back, back to back, back to back. Um, yeah, Austria it is it's like when you play the F1 game. If we've just been... I've just bought the F1 game. My girlfriend's getting into it. Straight away, first track we go on. Just smiling at me now. The first track we went on, I was like, let's go to Austria because it's the easiest track to learn on. Um, yeah, it literally is. Half the track is DRS. Straight, straight, straight. And then you've got a bit of twisty bit. You've got a right-hander and then you pull it back to the right. Very quick left-hander, then another quick left-hander. Then you've got another corner that's not really a corner because it's easy flat. And then the last two corners. But it's quite a car breaker, is this circuit. You get wide, you're probably going to damage your car. Looking forward to the weekend. Austria, bring it on.